Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this series where we are running a challenge to get a particular store to £1,000 profit, which is roughly $1,200. US dollars. Uh, if you haven't watched part one of the video, all we did was set up the account and explained exactly what we were trying to do, what we were going to try and achieve, okay? So at the end of that video, we set it up that we were going to list one or two items, I think up, up to two items per day in this store, just for the first week or so, just to test the water and make sure that everything was working okay. This is what you need to do. So what I've done here is uh, we're just going to run a little update on the video of where we're at. So this is what you should be doing. If you're new to drop shipping or you're setting up any new store, you want to list an item you know we, we set it up that we were going to list via the auto lister which you know takes the takes the work out of it for us list one or two items a day now the most important thing is we don't want to go five six seven days down the line and then go back and realize there's actually nothing listed to the store so we want to make sure the following day after we start listing to the store that uh, the listings are working, the connection with your eBay account is there. So what we want to do is we want to go into the listing generator. We want to find the files that it's run. We can see that it started running on the third. Today is the fourth. So we just click into this one here and let's see what's happened here. Okay, so I can see two were selected. One was listed and one was failed. So let's see why the first one failed. First of all, um, it was showing up as a duplicate item. Okay, so this basically means that there's another store connected to my sale freaks that already has this item on it. Now we've seen when I was going through the settings that I don't want to duplicate items on similar stores. Okay, now if you have one eBay account connected, it's very unlikely that this is going to happen to you. Okay, but I'm not listing duplicate items. I want everything in this store to be 100% fresh and new to this store and not have it any listed anywhere else on sale freaks. So. Let's check out the one that's listed. We can see here uh, item ID number one. It's the first item that's been listed on the store. We can see the supplier item ID here, and we can see the market ID here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna click into these. The market item ID and the supplier item ID have been blurred out because I don't want people, you know, jumping on this store and copying it or sniping the items from it or whatever else. It's just going to make the test of the challenge, um, you know, not be not be as fun and, and it's going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, so they are blurred out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into these and what I want people to see is that everything's set up. And I want to make sure that everything looks okay as well. Okay, so I'm going to click into the Amazon item first of all. And what I'm looking for here is to make sure that the item is available. First of all, I want to make sure it's available via Amazon Prime. And I want to make sure it's within our shipping policies. Okay, so we're going to see the item here. And we're not going to do subscribe and save. We just want to make sure that it's the, the regular one-time purchase, which is this one. So if we click on it. We can see it's 11.74. Delivery is next day, afforded within the tw next 12 hours. Absolutely perfect. Looks absolutely fine to me. Very generic item. Uh, shouldn't have any issues with Vero or any copyright protection or anything like that. Just a very basic, you know, household item, which is, is absolutely fine. So that's 100%. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click into the eBay item and I just want to see, does it all look good? Okay, all the images are pulled across. Um, again, I've blurred these out. I don't want the images. I don't want the, the particular product being uh, copied. Um, but we can see, I can see that it's all pulled across. Okay, I can see that the postage, um, it doesn't deliver to Northern Ireland. I'm in Northern Ireland, so we're going to put in a... Uh, UK postcode and just check our business policies are set up okay. Other 48 hour courier, free delivery within two to three days, estimated on the 5th or the 6th. So it's estimating that it'll be out by the 5th or the 7th and Amazon are estimated, estimating it to be out tomorrow. So as long as they order within the next 12 hours, they're going to get their item actually faster than what eBay are even telling them. So we're under promising and over delivering, which is perfect. We're just going to have a little look at the item specifics. All pretty much completed. Um, nothing really to change there. It's all very basic. And we've got a, a nice description here. Okay, now we could improve on these descriptions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually improve uh, these titles and these descriptions when it comes to 
to use in sale freaks okay so we're going to go in to sale freaks and we're going to click on the item id here okay the item id will bring you into the specific item and we can also see here that this is set at a five percent profit and that will that will net us 74 pence after your ebay fees and all that sort of thing so 75 pence not not the worst not the best but again um, all those little amounts will add up as hopefully you will see later in this challenge okay our default quantity set the two just like we wanted it to now you can see here we have a title and on the amazon title actually there's uh, a few bits that are cut off because amazon titles can be longer than ebay so sometimes what actually happens is we get a a useless brand name which doesn't add anything to the title it's also already in the the item specifics and what happens is sometimes we'll miss keywords off the end of the title which will be uh, good for search results so what we can do is we can optimize this title using ai and create the best title possible for us and we can also create the best possible description as well so in order to optimize the title we just click on the optimize button here this will charge you 0.15 of a token you get some free tokens on the account you can actually buy more here um on the account but this is just a little extra charge you do get an allowance on the account that you can use up to do this um, and it is well worth uh doing this so i'm gonna i'm gonna plan to optimize most of the titles on this new challenge account because i believe that's the best way in order to get to uh, a profitable place we want to stand out from the competition um, and we want to make sure that our items are able to find so i'm going to go ahead and click ok to optimize the title and after a couple of seconds it will optimize me this title okay so although i've blanked out the titles um i can tell you that what it's done is it's taken out the 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 brand name which isn't a, really a searchable brand name it's not a well-known brand if someone was searching for this product they wouldn't really need to to worry too much about what the specific product was um later on in the video what i will do actually is i'll I'll show you some optimized titles on another on another eBay account or something like that so that you can actually see how those titles work. But for right now, we're really just trying to focus on, on this challenge in this video. Um, so not only is it taken out that brand name, it's also added in some very, 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 very good keywords. I'm actually going to highlight um, the keywords that it's brought in and, and not um, and then not actually blur this part out. So you should be able to see this. So what it's added in here is thick tie handle liners. These were these were words that were missing from the original title that really um, that really will help people find that. It's also added in one of the one of the main keywords again that was missing in the title, which is I'm going to show you right now is the compostable part. Okay. So that's a really important because if someone's eco-friendly, they're looking for something like this. This is one of the main things. And the main part of the title usually comes in the first four or five words of the title according to eBay's own, um, own training on the algorithm, okay? So the main four or five keywords are the main thing that people are searching for. Um, and this is, this is what people are gonna be searching for, okay? So we then scroll on down and we've got the, you know, item specifics we can add some specifics in here or change any if they're incorrect i believe uh what we have here is pretty good so i'm just going to leave that and then if we want we can actually optimize the description as well so sometimes what happens is amazon bring across like certain characters and certain like um certain coding that isn't uh, applicable on on ebay which means that it looks like weird characters and weird weird symbols and things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to optimize the description as well and just click ok on that and this should build us a much more engaging and informational uh, description okay it should give us the bulk of the what the item is we can see here i'm not going to blur this out it's uh, for some bin liner caddies where again we're talking about the compostable part here again 
um, and you know, say goodbye to plastic waste. Thank you for helping protect the planet for the future. So just makes it into a nice, more engaging title. It gives us all the key information in there. And what we need to do to make sure these um, all correctly move across on the eBay is to click on save. Don't forget to click save. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. We have listed our first item on the store. We have got the ball rolling now. And now it's just a case of getting that thousand pounds profit so i hope to see you in the next video where we can share a little bit more information we're going to have a couple of items listed who knows we may even have a sale let's see i'll catch you in the next video as always check out the links in the description for the free facebook group links to other youtube videos which will help you get started in dropship and link to our free ebook also the website um, and also the instagram so thanks again for checking us out catch you on the next one